Kaisa Haru has been rescued when she was young by a maid, longed to be a maid herself, so she enrolled into a special school that allows regular and magical classes into two different sections. Together with her rival, such best friend, Hiroki Ari, they study magic together while insert while she is searching for the boy that saved her years ago to give him a Valentine's Day chocolate. This anime has about 12 episodes, premiered October 6, 2006 to 7 22nd, 2006, but it's all a visual novel. It is comedy and romance. It is themes are harm and school. Each episode is 25 minutes per episode, but it's PG-13. Now let's get started into the review. Now before I really get deep down to the review, I just feel like we should identify some characters. So the girl up here in the top with the long swords, gray hair, her name is Shumaka Inibi. And then the girl down here, like with the short, like purplish hair, her name is Kina Saya. And then, uh, you know, the main character, the long black hair girl with the green with the green lobby is Tanake Kuniki. And then we have the lovely Ari, who's the rival of our main characters, not here in the center. And the last girl holding the frying pan is Kina Tatsuma. And what I really like about the anime happiness, um, you know, the story is really interesting because it goes from the, the whole generational audience moving from light, medium to dull, <coughs> depending on how you look at it. Um, the storytelling and pacing can be really slow at times, but I think overall when you pick up the episodes which are like um, three and onward, so through like the whole 12 episodic series, it does pick up the pace, the pacing with the characters and introducing them around some scenes. I think overall the story, the story part really develops around the 8th and 9th episode, especially the 10th, where we have to really explore more of the characters like past and background. But I feel like if they want to the pace over in the beginning, they should have explored more of the characters in the beginning of the anime instead of waiting until later. But I guess they're trying to think the way the writer trying to think of the situation as saving the best for last, which is completely understandable. But I think, you know, um, if you want to especially have the audience for like some more of the characters more of a more typical sense and or a rooting factor, I think it would be probably best to, you know, give the characters a more of a clear background in the game versus the end, but it's their choice to kind of see what they did, what they did there. But overall, I think, you know, the colors were interesting. Some are so, so dull and some acts of the scene, but since this anime did come out in like the 2006, I will give them some, like, some credit, you know. Um, they were doing the best they got to work with. And then also with the other characters, you know, some characters that were supporting cast weren't as strong as the other ones was the developing factor. And some of them were all like non, um, one side dimensional, I feel like at best. And some of the characters are actually more as strong as the other ones. Like for Star Wars, a lot of the characters were lacking, really, but I can't put them to words, but they were truly lacking about the influence away in the series. Um, but you know, the straw rivalry between Ari and the main girl who want both with them major in the school and their straw rivalry and how she tried to find this mage to say thanks but also try to give him down my chocolates kind of interesting for the robots uh, nudge here and there. But overall, it's okay, a series, you know, the whole idea of them being under a different school to learn two different magics, you know, for the magical and non-magical people, a lot of mystery like, behind that as well. And I think the art of the detail of that, especially the cost of the magic room, really help you delve more into the character's personality. And I think overall, having like this wide cast of characters, you know, I think everyone having their obstacles struggles they have to go through, you are introduced to a lot of characters and their thoughts and struggles what they want to deal with and how they want to use their magic for their own, you know, unique purposes and their goals. But overall, I think, you know, you'll kind of gravitate towards a character that you like in the long run and that you'll, you know, get a sense of a long time to root them to the very end of this series. I thought, I, would, I, I did have a couple of characters from the series that I rooted for and hopefully, you know, they accomplish the goal. But it's a very short anime series with like 12 episodes and I'm sure you'll find a character that you will like or you'll get to engage towards more the end of it, I feel like. And you'll know, have your character that you're like, kind of like, kind of like, eh. I think I want my favorite, but then you kind of castle that you kind of report. But I definitely give this anime a 6 out of 10. They have to check out for yourself and let me know what you think. And also comment down below. Uh, edit and then we'll do review in 2022. But until then, see y'all really soon. Bye.